Hello, Bob again. Uh, after some modifications, some added weight, some rearranging of the wires, and testing out, I have managed to get all my eco energy and cars, tank cars running on my layout. Most of them were set for 031s, but the one that comes with the sound, the electrocoupler, and the uh, <clears throat> flashing rear end of train light, I uh, didn't like going around the 031 curves. So I had to take it apart, open up the end, add some weight to it, and rearrange the wires underneath the car so they were slightly more flexible. Also, some of the other cars were not cooperating on the 031 either, so loosened off the bottom screw that held on the truck, added some nice thin oil, and we seem to have them all working. Anyway, we're going to give it a shot here and see how they go. Here we go. I'm still got that CN SD40-2 running in the Santa Fe, so here we go. I'm going to try filming this from a different location on the layout, give you a different perspective. But here comes that car that's supposed to be on the end of the line and I've got it hooked up as the lead car. I also put an MTH end of line truck with flashing rear end of line or end of train device on the back here so it still looks the same but that's an MTH device on the back of the engine, on the back of that car. Here we come. So I'm in pretty much the southeast corner of my layout. ethanol cars. There's that MTH. I really like them. I bought them when I could. I had three of them. I guess they're all used by now. That engine is and that less was very doesn't like to run well. I have it on one of my videos. After that, not so much. Put a tunnel in the back. car used to derail on that corner all the time. Now it's behaving nicely. Little added weight, the right spot inside the car. Hooked up to a heavier car in front. Makes a bit of a difference. Actually makes a big difference. This is my big curve. <laughs> At least I think it's a big curve. 
up the hill and around the corner. different look. Change this switch in here. Go ahead. There we go. That should bring it a different way. my inner loop. switch, K-Line 031 switch, those are good switches, wish I had them all like that, down the hill, through the back, Around the tight curve to Mel Diner. We make it through this curve with that in, that car, and we did. I'm going to call it a success. Pretty good. pretty happy with those cars now. Up until now they've been a bit of a pain in the uh... yeah. Now they're running. I've had them for well, numerous years. Constantly running into things, constantly falling pieces off, constantly dis derailing. Sometimes it just takes some work some of your own modifications. Mm -hmm. 
Palace Theater. Now playing Santa Fe Express GP60M. Coming soon, Union Pacific's Big Boy. Come through the center switch. And right back towards us here. I used to derail on this corner all the time. But hopefully it doesn't. Ah, <laughs> didn't. Anyway, I hope you've liked running trains on Sunday afternoon with Bob. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the day. I will now. Bye now.